Welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. Before we meet up with Aloy, make sure you hit subscribe and the like button as it helps me out tremendously in reaching my thousand sub goal. Now let's ride. All right, Lancelot. Probably not allowed in here. Yeah. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. It's like, oh, this is the guy we just. No, he looks just like him though. Passage into no man's land by any chance? Huh. Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy, I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Don't worry, it's part of the story. Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Resupply from stash. Restock all categories. Oh, that's so fucking dope, dude. There's Aaron. Looks like he's had a few. Damn it. Savior, I need your help. Aaron? She said Aaron. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Laravik to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Laravik was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Uh, worst negotiating tactic ever. If I've got to die, so be it. <laughs> the meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Okay. Now that we've cleared the place out of extra quests, I am the savior. Thank you very much. Up, You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh. God damn it. Yes, sir. The hell is up here?
Oh shit. Am I supposed to be up here? No one is allowed past this point. Nope. Commander knows our orders. All right, guys, I'm ready. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. Yeah. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. Oh, Jesus. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Ah, uh, fucking. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then. During the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Huh. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. I'm... Ugh. This way. I'm kind of a, a sassy pants. Going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. Oh, for fuck's but sake. Here, a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. Oh, now we get to go up there. Okay. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Brace myself. Alright. Here we go. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? Ah, oh. Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. <laughs> The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? 
You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Hmm. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... Sure. <laughs> you shall not! Keep telling yourself that. When the guards... Oh, God damn it. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Errand? Oh, I didn't even see him. I'm asking nicely. He's over there. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Damn. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Uh. Look, Pearl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. God damn it, dude. Can you just not? So, this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics, no more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I Didn't do. ask for it. We'll see how it goes. Um. This is major shepherd vibes. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. What? What's going on here? What's the delay about anyway? A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. 
Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Avad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But... Such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Hmm. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja Sea Ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Yeah, why isn't it starting though? Are you sure you want to hear it? Tch. Uh, not now. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities. Stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures that's enough for now so when you met the Tanakh chief you did something desperate I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revered you know how fucking so, much of a slap in the face it would be if he just dies right, this character quote, thinking that by winning I could request a boon my life or even my freedom the other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. Uh. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I've done I it. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. 
but they hmm. did. I'm sure a lot of uh, parallels. Forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Hmm. Um. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. Hmm. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. Huh? So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah, the way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. So? Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But, these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Centuries, dude. Jesus Christ. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended. You are about to cross over that, that line. still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. Only me. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Fucking rude. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but... Brought the Sky Clan with me. That's Charles too. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. 
but enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. <sighs> All right. The Karja have opened the gates. Those boots seem like a pain to wear. The metal tip just be touching the fucking ground every single time you move forward. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! That is one hell of a fucking. Regala. Weapon. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this... I condemn you to death! You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's corrupted some of the machine. What the fuck? Lancers! Pour him up! Fuck. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. He's trying to slow us Push down. Up. Come with us now, or oh, not at all. Archer! Light them up! Well, looks like it's just me and Varl. Archers! Keep them back! Oh no, not a nameless soldier. That is so many machines. Open the gates. Open the gates. Open the gates. Oh. Oh, not on the drip. Oh no! Holy shit! Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? I literally just said. What happened? Can you see? If that guy fucking dies. Hey! Come down and fight fair! 
pincers! Take the center! Get ready! I swear to god, if that guy fucking dies after we just sat and listened to like seven minutes of his fucking life. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Shit. Are they coming down or what? Here they come! They're on to us. There's no more to fire. Shit, shit, shit. Gotta keep an eye on my health. Leave them! Finish the enemy! The rider's still standing! I see you, Nora! Vengeance for Fasha! Okay, all right, fine, whatever. Holy fuck. No way. Oh my god. Charles. They got him in the marshals. That was badass as hell. Oh god. Bristlebacks. Damn it. Come on. Got You fucker. Come on, come on. Got him. Holy shit. Oh, great. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. For you, it might be a challenge, not for me. Holy shit. Granted. What the fuck, silence? Okay. I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. Whoa. I can break through a shield if I damage it enough. Okay. Gotta get through that shield. Take more. 
shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck, I don't have any more acid. Okay. So badass. God damn. Your turn. Come down here and face Let me, me learn the fucking shield no. shit. Yeah. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals. Slaughtered the cars. But you lost to a 19 year old girl. Hmm. Get that fucking thing off of Charles. God damn. Get him to the camp. Now. Well, you gonna make there's it. a lot of help. You're going on without me, aren't you? Of course I am. You're fucking weak as shit. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. No embassy? It's salvage time, boys. It's not like postponed or anything, it's just... sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vladis, Pashav. A massacre. What will you do now? Well, so, Pashav really did die. Hopefully the Div die. Of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north. With all those machines they were riding, they must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? 
How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. Hmm. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? <sighs> Fucking Fashav, dude. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Oh. Survived for years out in the oh, west, no, no, no. to die just short of the sundom. Yeah, I told you guys it would be soldier. fucking there was more stupid. He, to do. he spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that I can't now. believe I fucking called that. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Hmm. Um. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. So, you're figuring it out, is what you mean. It's too bad about Nazar and Vladis. Not too bad, but... At least but... Nazar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, hmm. well, no one deserves to go out that way. Yeah, I guess. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. Sounds good to me. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and you can always find more stuff like this on my channel. So subscribe for more of me and you'll see me in the next one.